thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Eben with a WBZ News Update. Our top stories, 26-year-old Tyler Oliver is the suspect accused in a shooting inside a Woburn home. He killed one man. Oliver appeared in court earlier today. He's charged with possession of a firearm and assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. The shooting took place inside a house on Woburn Street in Woburn early Monday morning. Police found two men shot. One died at the scene. The other person, Oliver, was taken to the hospital to be treated for his injuries. Investigators are still searching for a motive in the shooting. A 15-year-old suspect is being held on bail this afternoon after a stabbing inside the Cape Cod Mall. A 17-year-old victim is expected to survive after being seriously hurt. Barnstable police say the teen was stabbed several times in his upper torso yesterday. He was airlifted to the hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Police believe the stabbing happened after an argument. The teen suspect was taken into custody after the incident. He's now being held on $5,000 cash bail pending his arraignment. And we're told the victim is expected to make a full recovery. No charges for the cheerleading coaches accused of misconduct in Worcester. We told you about this story at Abby Kelly Foster Charter School, which has suspended its cheerleading program and placed the coaches on leave. It's still unclear exactly what the allegations were, but police now say they are not criminal and will not face charges. The school, though, is still investigating. Let's get a check of the forecast now with meteorologist Lexi O'Connor. February's made a big comeback. It certainly has. Temperatures about 20 degrees cooler this afternoon than yesterday afternoon. We're topping out just in the upper 30s and low 40s for this afternoon. We had some rain and snow showers earlier this morning. We get a little break through the afternoon and then some more rain and some snow showers mix in through this evening and our weather pattern is looking active and colder looking ahead. Now most areas will just be looking at some rain showers hours this evening and not looking at accumulation, but some wet snowflakes will mix in for some of us. We could see about a coating to up to an inch of accumulation towards the New Hampshire border, especially in the higher elevations, but it shouldn't be too impactful. This round moves through tonight and then we'll get a break tomorrow before our next storm system moves in tomorrow night and through Thursday. And this is looking like it could bring a messy mix of snow changing over to sleet and freezing rain into Thursday morning, so could have some ice I see a uh, travel for Thursday morning, but we are looking at uh, then some cooler temperatures returning for the end of the week. So definitely feeling more like winter out there. Highs today in the upper 30s and low 40s. The timing of the, the rain showers and snow showers this evening will be around 6, 7 o'clock to start, starting first in western mass and into central mass by around 6, 7 o'clock. And then as you move closer to 495, they'll move east by around 9 o'clock. We're looking at uh, some rain showers moving into the 495 region and eastern portions of the state. They clear out tonight. We'll see some sun tomorrow morning before the clouds increase tomorrow afternoon and that next storm system arrives. The snow and any wintry mix should hold off until after the evening commute. This is at 7 o'clock tomorrow and then we will see that snow likely starting to have snow for most areas and then changing over to some sleet and freezing rain as we head overnight and into Thursday. So this will be the next big thing that we are tracking. It looks like a wintry mix of snow ice and rain likely starting as snow for many Wednesday late evening and then changing over to a lot of sleet and uh, then rain uh, for especially southern areas. Temperatures then drop for Friday. We'll see falling temperatures through the day. Highs on Saturday will just be in the 20s with overnight lows Friday night into Saturday morning dropping down into the single digits. So much cooler to start the weekend. Could see a rain or snow shower on Sunday, but a little bit warmer in the upper 30s and then we could have another system headed our way Monday night into Tuesday. Paula, back to you. Lexi, thank you. I'm Paula Eben. This has been a WBZ News Update.